Hello, boys and girls. How are you doing? This is Dr. Annette, and I am here again with another book for us to read today. So the book that I thought we would like to read is Under Alaska's Midnight Sun. Now, the reason why I chose this book is because it is summertime, and I know that coming up very soon here on June 21st, we will celebrate the longest day. This we call this the summer solstice. All right, and so I found this book. It's a fabulous book for us to learn more about what it's like to live in an area under the midnight sun. And as you know, I'm in Alaska and we celebrate the midnight sun every single year. So welcome, come on in and let's listen to our story. Under Alaska's Midnight Sun. The author is Deb Benes. And the illustrator is Jeremiah Tramwell. I can't sleep. I won't sleep. In fact, Mama says I don't have to sleep. We're under the midnight sun. We wait all winter in the cold and dark for summer's sunlit nights. At last, winter fades, and we celebrate the longest day of the year. The sun stays up late, and so will we, enjoying the sun-soaked night. But some will sleep, like my brother Pete, before midnight comes around. Not me. I'll run and laugh and play all night under the midnight sun. We skip through the meadow where the fireweed grows, where the fox sits high on the hill. He turns and stares, eyes blazing a dare, unafraid in the midnight sun. We cast our lines in the sun-speckled creek, slippery salmon shimmer below. One leaps with a splash, fish dancing at last, having fun, in the midnight sun. We hide in the grasses where the mama duck runs, baby ducks trailing behind. One circles around, flapping wings up and down, quacking loud at the midnight sun. We pluck wild roses and weave sweet smelling crowns, one for mama too. She lifts her head high as the queen of not night, reigning under the midnight sun. Pete stretches and yawns. Tired? I ask. He shakes his head to answer no, but we all can see he'll go to sleep before midnight finally comes. Not me. I'm wide, wide awake on the longest day of the year. We pause for the moose with her long, slow steps, a little one by her side. He twitches one ear, and I creep close to see if we'll be friends in the midnight sun. We climb a hill to the rat-a-tat-tat of a woodpecker high in a tree. Stay awake, he taps. Midnight's coming up fast. Don't miss out on the solstice sun. We shield our eyes and point towards the sky where an eagle soars on the wind. Her wings whistle a song of creatures long gone, a story old as the midnight sun. Pete sits down and rubs his eyes. He lays his head in Mama's lap. Soon he's fast asleep, breathing slow and deep as if it's any other night. Not me. I can't sleep. I won't sleep. I don't have to sleep. It's the longest day of the year. Sit, Mama says, and rest a while. I crouch down in the cool green grass. Out slips a yawn. You could lie down, she says but I won't do that. Mama rubs her head and her eyes fall shut. Soon she's sleeping too. 
I snuggle close and my eyelids close. Just for a moment, I tell myself. The sun's broad rays stretch across the sky. The mountains glow like fire. Midnight arrives. I can't close my eyes. I've got to celebrate the light. I stand, I spin, I dance, all alone with the sun still shining bright. Now I can sleep. I will sleep. In fact, I'll even be happy to sleep under the midnight sun. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. Here's an author's note. In the far northern parts of the world, near and above the Arctic Circle, summer days are very long. For example, in Barrow, Alaska, the sun rises in May and sets 83 days later in early August. During this time, the sun shines all through the night. People call it the midnight sun. When the midnight sun is shining, people and animals stay active even at night. It's hard to sleep with so much light, but there will be plenty of darkness when winter comes. In Barrow, the sun sets in mid-November and doesn't rise again until the end of January, 67 days later. June 21st is the summer solstice. It is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. All over the far north, people celebrate with games, races, and parties. Everyone loves to stay up late and enjoy the midnight sun. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me today for this fabulous story called Under Alaska's Midnight Sun. I know one of the things that I enjoy doing to celebrate the midnight sun here in Alaska is to have a barbecue with my friends and family. We're usually up late playing games like cornhole. We even can go to a parade or a festival that we have in our nearby towns. So I hope that whatever it is that you do, that you, wherever you are as well, that you are able to enjoy this fun, fun day, the longest day of the year. All right, my friends, have a blessed day. Bye.